Welcome to that lecture online and now we're going to take a look at the first of the five types of redox reactions called the combination reaction. And as the name would indicate, combination reactions where you're combining two elements. So in this case, I have some examples. We have sulfur and oxygen. Notice that sulfur in a solid state and oxygen in the gas state, they both have the oxidation number of zero because then they're in their natural common state. When they combine, sulfur goes to an oxidation state of plus four and oxygen to minus two. So that means sulfur is being oxidized and oxygen is being reduced. Uh, notice that since there's two oxygens, two times minus two is minus four, so that adds up to zero. So the oxidation number on both sides of the uh, equation, so to speak, are, are balanced. The next one we have barium in a solid state and fluorine gas. We combine those. Notice that barium goes to an oxidation state of plus two and fluorine goes to minus one. Of course, there's two of them to balance out the equation. And so we end up with barium fluoride. The third equation is when we have carbon combined with oxygen gas. Again, they're in the natural states, so oxidation number zero. It becomes carbon dioxide. Carbon gets oxidized to plus four and oxygen minus two being reduced to minus two. There's two of them, so two times minus two is minus four. And again, it's balanced on both sides of the equation. Next one, we have chlorine gas, and it's being combined with, you know what? We're going to need two here. Chlorine gas is a diatomic molecule. Now we got it correct. All right. So we have chlorine gas, and we have uh, phosphorus trichloride come together. This is a liquid. There's a gas. They combine, forms a solid phosphorus pentachloride. Notice that the oxidation state from phosphorus went, went from plus three to plus five and it therefore had an ability to get two more chlorines in its molecule. And finally, we have nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas. When they combine, it forms ammonia gas. Notice the oxidation number for both gases is zero in the natural state. They come together. Nitrogen is now being reduced to minus three. Hydrogen is oxidized to plus one. You have to have three of them to balance out the equation. Again, the equation is balanced via, via the oxidation numbers. So there's some nice examples, some simple examples of what we mean with combination reactions. They're definitely oxidation reduction reactions.